to them is bisexuality. There, there was a study that was done by Kinsey back in the late 1940s and ended in, in 1950. And they found that about 18% of people have thoughts, fantasies, and dreams towards the both sexes or of the same sex. Does someone choose to be straight? Does someone choose to be gay or bi bisexual? So, and what I always ask in, in, in the classroom is, you know, if people who are heterosexual, when, when did you decide be, to, to be straight? When did you decide to have thoughts, fantasies, and dreams towards the opposite sex? We don't choose that. That's natural for us. It just, it's just a, a natural part of us maturing. It's the same for, for, for gay people as well. No one chooses to be gay. No one chooses to be straight. No one chooses to be bi bisexual. Um, Alfred Kinsey did, did the study, and what he said is that there was a broad spectrum of, of sexual, um, sexuality based on this three-year study. It was done in the late 40s to early 1950, and the study indicated that there was a broad spectrum of sexual orientation. He developed a scale called the seven-point con continuum scale, and the scale was from zero to six, with zero being uh, gay, I'm sorry, straight, and six being gay. And so what, what they did is over the three-year three period, they found the following findings. Four to six percent of men were rated as exclusively gay, 10 percent rated as four, five, or six, or pre predominantly gay, and 18 percent of men rated as three, four, five, or six. And so that, that ends up being our, our bi bisexual spectrum. In, in the study, they found that up to 40 percent of, of all men experience orgasm in a sexual activity with, with another man at some time during their life, and 60% of all men had some type of, of homosexual relationship before the age of 16. Okay, so the, this study confirmed that sexual orientation is not an either or, but is a, it is a broad spectrum of various degrees of bisexuality. You're going to have a lot of people that come into your clinic and they're going to identify on the in, intake form uh, if they're married or single, divorced, et cetera, but that, that says nothing about their sexual orientation. So, so it's going to be very important that when you're in the room with them, to be able to identify what their sexual orientation is so that you're able to counsel them appropriately.